One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. One baptism. Hallelujah. One. If he continue in my word, listen at this. Hallelujah. If you continue in my word, if you continue in my word, if you continue in my lessons, if you continue in my preaching, if you continue in my teaching, then he's letting the apostles know how you will benefit if you just keep it up. Hallelujah. Get weak, but keep it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 You religions. Hallelujah. None of you, if you got away from the teachings of Jesus, you are not his followers. Hallelujah. If you cease to believe what Jesus taught, you are no longer a follower. If he continue in my word, for me, I can't continue in something I don't believe. I'm not going to continue in it. I can get weak, but that don't mean I don't believe it. Hallelujah. If I'm weak in it, I believe it so I can be made strong. But if I stop believing, I stop being his disciple. You don't believe in no apostles now? You don't? You ain't continuing in his word. And you're not his disciple. You don't believe in the prophets now? You don't? You're no longer in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't believe in miracles? You don't? You're no longer in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't believe there's one and one on the throne. You don't. You're no longer in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't believe it once in a while, then knock off. If you do what? If he continue in my word. No breaks. Continue. Continue. Believe it when I'm strong. Believe it when I'm burdened. Believe it when I'm weak. Believe it when I'm poor. Believe it if I'm homeless. Believe it if I die. If ye continue in my word, hallelujah, then are ye my disciples indeed. Hallelujah. If. Pastor Paul in the book of Colossians. Back in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23. Tell you what. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled. If you continue in the belief. In the faith. Oh. Hallelujah. Many of you have stepped, stopped being in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ because your belief in Christ's teachings changed. When you make Jesus the second person in the Godhead, you're not his disciple. No. In other words, if you make Jesus anything that he didn't make himself, you're not his disciple. You make him God assistant. You're not his disciple. If what? If you continue in the faith. I got to continue in what? In the faith. In the faith. It doesn't matter if you in the, the truth of God. That don't matter. No. You don't believe all 
what Jesus gave his apostles. You're not in the faith. You're not in the, God don't recognize you being in the faith. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenny, I'm still struggling with the point of you saying the person can have the Holy Ghost and not be in the church. All right, let's see the state of a person that don't take care of his family. I'm approved to you. You can have the Holy Ghost and not even God will recognize it. First time he three. won't even recognize you being in the faith or one of his. That's right. Look at this. First Timothy chapter 5, and we'll start reading at verse 7. Chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter 5, and we'll start reading at the seventh verse. Listen. And these things given charge. These, he's talking to the church. These things given charge. That they may be blameless. That they may be blameless. But, but, if any provide not for his own, if any provide, provide not, not for his own, for his own, and especially for especially those, especially for those of his own house, of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Wait a minute. He got the Holy Ghost, but how do God look at him? He has denied the faith. And, and wait a minute, is he a believer? And is worse than an infidel. Worse. Worse. Speaking in tongue. Baptized. Had the Holy Ghost. But you don't even get a recognition from heaven. Because God says. But if any provide not for his own. Glory to and God. especially for those of his own house. What are they? He hath denied the faith. You deny and reject. The faith. The faith. The faith that Jesus laid. And is worse. And you are worse. Than an infidel. Than an unbeliever. That's right. Amen. You can speak in tongue now. <laughs> That's right. You can be baptized right. and have the Holy Ghost and not be in the church. That's right. You can deny the faith. Deny the faith. God won't even respect your belief when you don't fulfill what he says. But if you he... can go to church, you can quote all the scriptures. You won't take care of your, your family. He had, the Lord says. He has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Worse. Now you can go to church until you're 800 if possible. You are go to hell at the end. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. I want to soak you a little. Oh, yes. Go back to the book of John. Everybody all right? Back in St. John verses... Get this, viewers! Back in St. John chapter 8, verses 30 and if 31. If you're in a church and their doctrine changed from better to worse and gone backward, you still didn't believe in women preachers now they got plenty of them. Used to denounce and fight against divorce. Now they're remarrying divorce. Your pastor got two wives. Right. The assistant got his third wife and working on his fourth. That's right. That's right. They trade wives in like someone on a used car lot. <laughs> and say we're the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. No, you didn't continue in the faith. You're not the church. You denied the faith. You don't believe no more. Jesus Christ is God. Man asks me, is Jesus Christ the Father? I say, yes. He said, how was Jesus Christ the Father? And he was flesh. I said, that's right, but the Father was in him. He said, but Jesus was the Son of God. I said, also, Jesus was God. And when God was manifested in the flesh, the flesh inherited his name. Someone said, where is that at? The Bible said, by inheritance, he obtained a more excellent name than the angels. And Jesus said, all things the Father have are mine. I come in my Father's name, and all things the Father have are mine. Don't you hear him when he was praying? He said how he gave his disciples or his apostles his name. His name. Referring to the Spirit. Hallelujah. That's right. You're getting what I'm telling you. That's right. When your faith change, it's because your teaching change. When your teaching change, your doctrine change. And when your doctrine change, you got out the word. That's right. When you get out the word, you're not in the church. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. He went after the believers. I said what? If he continue in my word. Are you, are you continuing in his word tonight? 
if. That, that goes for you too, brothers, that minister. Oh, yes. Is there something in the word of God that you don't believe? That's right. This may be the answer why some of you don't have no anointing. God don't work where there's unbelief. That's right. One scripture says how Jesus didn't do many mighty works because of unbelief. You don't believe what's in there, you ain't going to have no anointing. Take heed, brethren. Amen. You can't minister with an anointing and something in that Bible you don't believe. Right. Only thing you left to do is stand up and give a boring lecture. That's right. There's got to be an anointing up here. That's right. The book of Hebrews says what? Hebrews chapter 3 and we're at verse 12. What did he say? Take heed, brethren. Pay attention, brethren. Lest there be lest in any of you. There be in any of you. An evil heart. A evil heart. Of unbelief. Of unbelief. In departing. In leaving. From the living God. From the living God. When I leave the word of God, my faith thought of something changed or something else, I left the word. That's right. That's right. I left, hallelujah. I left the word. That's right. This is what I mean, and me and Dan the man, Stasiak, this is one subject that we have talked about since the day we met is a continuation, continuation. in the Word. And never getting out of the Word. That's right. And never let nobody come in to try to take us out of the Word. Out of the word. You can't offer me nothing to change the doctrine of God. Nothing. You can offer me a million dollars. They've done that already. You can offer me churches. People offer me churches all the time. That's nothing new. Give me the word. That's it. If you want to be the Lord's sheep, continue in the word. If you continue in my word. When you depart from the living God, your teaching change, your doctrine change, and now everything you tore down, you build up. Hello. You build up again the things you destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. transgressor. That's right. Amen. That's right. We're going to continue in the faith so we can be in the church. That's it. No women preachers creeping in. No divorce for no reason. No. I can't give you a reason that Jesus didn't give you. Get your personal feelings out of it and come back to the faith. That's right. Because when you match your belief with God's belief and say, well, this is what I think and what I feel, brother, you're going to make yourself a rival, and God have no rivals. That's right. God will bury you to keep his belief circulating. <laughs> That's right. Did you hear me? If you continue in the faith. If you continue. In the faith. What? Grounded. Grounded. And grounded. Settled, grounded. Hallelujah. Grounded. And what else? And settled. Settled. And what else? And be not moved away from, from what? From the hope of the gospel. How was it? Which ye have heard. Which ye have heard. And which was and preached. Which was preached. To every creature which is under heaven. Whereof? I Paul. I Paul. And made a minister. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you getting this? Hallelujah. This is why the churches have fell off. Yes, sir. No anointing. It's, it's hard to find an anointed preacher on social media. Yeah. You find tin cans and noise. Amen. The anointing is what brings the people to God. That's it. Because it's the power of God and the message of God. That's it. When you don't continue in the faith, in the faith. and your faith stops yeah. in any area of Scripture, That's right. you're not in the church. Take heed, brethren. You're not in the church. You're not in the body. That's right. If there's something that God says we got to do, and I don't believe it, and I used to believe it, and now I don't believe it, I'm not in the faith. There be any of you an evil heart. Of what? Of unbelief. When there's something in the Bible you don't believe, what kind of heart you got? An evil heart. I don't believe in no more apostles now. What's my heart? An evil heart. Now I switch from having one wife, now I can divorce her. An evil heart of unbelief 
in departing from the living God. You done left God. That's right. You go to church now, hypocrite. That's right. Go to church, jump and shout. You can call yourselves Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, Church under the Lord Jesus Christ, Church around the Lord Jesus Christ, Church over the Lord Jesus Christ, Church on the side of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That don't mean nothing. If you don't continue in his word, in faith. and if your faith contradicts the faith of Jesus at any time, any time, Trinitarians fight me all over social media. Yeah. My faith don't teach me it's a trinity. My faith teach me it's one, and the one God have many operations. That's right. My faith teach me it's one up there. And the one that's up there is on the throne, and Jesus is he. he. My faith don't teach me is more than one throne. No. That's paganism. That's right. Amen. That's right. When you continue in the faith, in the faith. then you're in the church. My faith teach me the cup is in the Lord's hand and the wine is red. red. That's what my faith teach me. The moment I drop that and pick up glasses, my faith changed, so I'm not continuing in it. And if I'm not continuing in the faith, I'm not in the church that he started. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you fornicate, your faith got to be so strong, you must always believe it's wrong. Hallelujah. You must always believe it's wrong. That's right. The moment you stop believing it's wrong, Hallelujah. no conscience, no repentance. No repentance. If I stop believing it's wrong, Hallelujah. I have stepped out the faith. That's right. That's right. If you think a lie and you believe it's all right to think a lie, when the faith said the Holy Ghost thinketh no evil, if you think it, don't justify yourself and make it right. Call it for what the Bible calls it. It's wrong. That keep your faith in front of your personal feelings. Living together, not married, I don't care how much you enjoy it. The faith is against it. You can tell each other all you want, how much you love each other. <laughs> tell each other we're sinners. That's right. Our faith said we're sinners. That's right. We're shacking up. Our faith got us sinners. That's right. Call it for what it is. What You're sinners. sinners. Keep that faith in front of you. When you do that, you will come out of that sin. Because your faith will motivate you to come out of it. Never put the faith behind you. Put the faith of Jesus Christ in front of you. And it will pull you out of sin. Hallelujah. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? If you continue in the faith. If you continue in the faith. Grounded. Acts 2.42. Acts 2.42. And they continued steadfastly and what? in the apostles' doctrine. You better not tell me the apostles' doctrine said there ain't no more apostles now. I make you lick it up. Yes, Who? You? <laughs> Amen. You better not tell me it's all right to be baptized simply in the name Jesus. Yeah. And hear the faith they baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. And then Paul come along and says, Lord Jesus. They got to keep it just like they had it. Continue steadfastly. And what? In the apostles' doctrine. On the day of Pentecost, the apostle Peter said to the Pentecost, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, not Jesus' name. That's right. I got to come back to the Bible, and my faith right. has to be just like theirs. Yes. Brother, when your faith is like theirs, God will be with you. Oh, yes. yes. Hallelujah. God, I said. Oh, that God, God will be with you. Oh, yes. And you won't be stagnant with him. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. A lot of men got these strange beliefs and look for men that believe the same thing. 
and that encourages them. And I care nothing if you get a million men believe the trash you believe. Amen. I'm going to believe what the Lord believes. That's it. And that's more heavier than any old weak man belief. That's right. You have to be so steadfast and so sound, the governments of the world can't shake your belief. Amen. If the FBI come in and question you about your belief, you won't quiver because of the FBI. The FBI, Ben came in first church. We was on Frankfurt Avenue. Hallelujah. Came in right among us, mingled in. Thought we couldn't spot them out. Even got baptized. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I mean faithful coming. An old racist man heard me over telecast preaching against racism. And he called the church and left a message over the voicemail. Called me the N-word over and over and over. He said, I'm going to call the FBI on you. You are in this and in that. Oh, that made me feel so good. He called the church back again and said, I called the FBI on you, and they said they already got watch on you. They've been new about you. <laughs> My God, when I heard that, I remember I went upstairs in the bell tower where the old studio was, and the brother played the message off. When I heard it, I did a, I did a, little, a, little, a little dance. <laughs> I was happy as I can be. Hallelujah. I don't care if the government don't like it. Hallelujah. The government is upon the shoulders of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything gonna bow to him. When you are in the faith, in the faith. you're gonna be bold in the faith. In the faith. You don't have to be scared of nothing and nobody. Because you're in the faith. In the faith. Hallelujah. Government agents, they stayed around for several years. Several years. Oh, yeah. And then one day in the pulpit in Frankfurt, I exposed them. Folks in the congregation didn't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> Government agents did, though, about three of them. When I was talking about the counterintelligence program, mm -hmm. how they come among you to spy on you and blend in, they nudged each other, <laughs> hitting each other. I said, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, FBI, I'm glad you're here. You can mingle in long as you want, because the more Bible you learn, it's going to be a greater condemnation. Amen. I wouldn't care if the CIA, FBI, or the SPCA come in here. Hallelujah. Faith in the God of Abraham make you stand upright and bark against creation. Hallelujah. And this is why the world have turned their back on so-called church. But because the churches are not standing for the Lord at all, the love for the soul of people have evaporated. Oh, yes. This message hit creation, and so many thousands write in and often say that the Truth of God program have given them hope once again. Oh, yes. They, they lost all hope in church. One Lord, one faith. One faith. One baptism. How strong is your faith? That's it. Look at the faith of the three Hebrew brothers. A lot of men just teach that carelessly. But look at the soundness of soundness. their faith. With no baptism. That's right. The baptism wasn't even given then. Yeah. They wasn't speaking in tongues. It wasn't given then. But their faith, faith and the God of Abraham Hallelujah. went on, hallelujah, went on in the fire. Hallelujah. Alive. 
and the form of the fourth one appeared. Like the Son of God. That's right. Which means he showed the same, same shape, form, and fashion that he would use to redeem creation. That's right. Hallelujah. You know, they preach about Daniel and lions then and make it just a little Bible story. You got to look at that man's faith. Faith. And what teaching stood at that time from Moses. That's right. He was committed to that teaching. That's it. And wouldn't waver. That's right. Hallelujah. Until his faith brought lions under submission. Daniel, you're gone. Well, oh, my, my God, he, he, he delivered me. The ones that accused him, the Bible said when they put them in there, the lions made mastery of their bones. The lions caught them before they hit the bottom. So faith in scriptures must be taken sincerely where there is no bargaining, no compromising. That's right. You don't lean for a Republican. You don't lean for a Democrat. You don't compromise for a liberal. That's right. Hallelujah. You don't sell your faith for money. No. You don't sell your faith for prosperity. When your faith is sound in God, nothing, nothing, and nobody rivals your faith. Preaching the word is wonderful. But how strong do you believe it? That's it. Coming to church, beautiful. beautiful. How strong Hallelujah. do you believe what's in there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the seventh chapter, I believe, in the book of Maccabees. Yes, sir. The woman had, I believe, seven sons. And they was following the law of Moses, the dietary law about don't eat no unclean meat. And the king tortured each child, even ripped the skin off their head and took, cut the tongue out of their mouth and took their flesh, the Bible says, and put it in a frying pan yes. and burnt it. Yes. But they wouldn't compromise their faith. Faith make you brave. You can't serve God right being a coward. When you are a coward, you will betray him. Like the message the Lord gave us at the closing year conference, who will stand up for me? Religion have cowered down for green, oh, yeah. for popularity, for notoriety, for fame. Jesus said what in the book of John? Back in St. John chapter 8. Everybody all right? Verses Listen. 30 and 31. St. John chapter 8, verses 30 and 31. That's what? As he spake these words, many believed on him. Many. Not everybody. Many. Just many did. Many believed on Lord him. Glory to God, they believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. What? If ye continue in my word. You got to keep it up. Then. Then. Are ye my disciples indeed. Only then. Then. You don't continue, you're not the disciple. That's right. It's just that simple. That's right. You don't continue, you're not a disciple. That's right. So ask yourself now. Are you a disciple tonight? Tonight. Or are you a backslider? Hallelujah. Are you a sheep? Were you a sheep that been transformed now to a vomit licking dog? You judge. That's right. Did your wife turn you to a vomit licking dog? Did your husband turn you to a vomit licking dog? But it has happened unto them. It has happened unto them according a, to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Are you listening to the, what the word of God says? Hallelujah. You out there watching say, I'm too strict, I'm too tough, I'm too mean. 
No, I'm just bold and firm in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ and cannot be bought and I'm not a sellout. Hallelujah. I'm not a sellout, period. Hallelujah. What can anybody offer me that I haven't been offered already? Nobody can offer me nothing that I haven't been offered. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. Amen. I've been offered it already. It's an insult to me to offer me anything hmm. to bargain with my Lord. Hey, he don't offer me eternal, everlasting life. He goes away to prepare a city for his people. That's right. That's right. Then John said, hallelujah, I saw New Jerusalem come down from God out of heaven. Bad as a bride of dawn for her husband. And all you do is offer me a Bentley. <laughs> That's right. A Rolls Royce, a yacht. So you can sell your salvation right away. Right away. Hallelujah. You don't join the church because you befriend the preacher. No. You don't go to a church and become a part of that church or religious group because your friends and family go there. No. No. Care nothing about your family trees. Trees are made to be cut down, God knows. That's right. The faith of Jesus Christ, he started the church. He said, upon this rock I build my church. Then he puts his faith in the church to govern all those that he put in his church. That's right. He put his own belief in it. That's it. And then tell you, live by what he believed. That's right. Fools come along and say, I'd rather obey Jesus than obey the apostles, you idiot. That's an idiot. <laughs> Jesus said to his apostles, he that hear you. Heareth me. Hear me. And he that despises you. He that you, despise you. Despises me. Despise me. And he that despises me. He that despise me. Despise him that sent me. And the one that sent him was the spirit that sent that flesh. That's right. And that flesh didn't come from heaven, a human body. It came from the womb of Mary, a human body, and the promise of it came from heaven. That's it. The promise came from heaven, and the results of the promise came from the womb. That's right. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. John again, then back Acts in, again, back then in, Colossians again. Back in St. John chapter 8, verses 30 and 31. Are you in a church tonight? Hallelujah. You that are watching, judge yourself. Hallelujah. You that claim you're women preachers out there, and got the Holy Ghost, you ain't in the church. No. You better take that license and tear it up, get out the pulpit, take your robe, and get baptized in it. That's right. You're not in the church. That's right. Because in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, it ain't no women preachers in his church, no. not in his church. No. Hallelujah. It's in your bishop's church, but it ain't in his church. That's right. You are deaconess, that's not in his church. No. He said, upon this rock I build my church, my church, so I'm going through the scriptures to investigate what's in his church. That's right. Like many of you out there say, oh, women can't preach in Geno Jennings church. <laughs> Don't go blame it on me. What, let's see who church this is. St. John, uh, St. Matthew. Say Matthew chapter 16 and at verse 18. Jesus said what? And I say also unto thee that thou art, thou Peter, art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. My church. My church. And what? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against We're going to hold to that. That's it. My church. No divorce is coming in here. No women preachers coming in here. No justification of living together, not married. That's right. No rainbow flag. That's right. No bathroom for transgender people. That's right. That's right. You come in here just like a woman, and here you a man pulling your zipper down. <laughs> We're going to take your wig and your size 22 pumps and drag you in front of a urinal. <laughs> That's right. government of America ain't going to put such a demand on us. Yeah. And we bow to it. We ain't making no bathrooms 
for no transgenders. We ain't making no special part of the church for transgenders. Hallelujah. Your transgender gonna sit right out there Hallelujah. and hear the word of God. Hallelujah. A man coming here dressed like a woman. And he's caught going to the ladies' room. We're gonna take you out of there. Yes, <laughs> take you out of there. Well, I'll sue you. I go to jail before I give your perverted soul a dime. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no temple where the government will make a rule nowhere in none of the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ that we will comply with a transgender bathroom. Hallelujah. And he minister do it? Yeah, out the church. You ain't no part of no first church. No. Because you're a coward. That's right. You're standing against it. That's right. If they put a padlock on your church, your whole service is outside. Hallelujah. We are firm in what is written here. Let the government of America be on notice. Biden, Harris, Hallelujah. and any other nut that come after you. The truth of God will never bow to not a government on earth when your laws contradict the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Never. That's right. Just like it ain't no man coming in here, just like no woman using the ladies' rooms, it ain't no woman coming in here. You can have a tapered haircut like a man and have your jeans on with a big belt and walk around strolling like you go into the men's room and then you got some band across your chest that ain't pressing your breast down too good. <laughs> And them two things up there, we know they ain't tumors. <laughs> you go in the men's room, ain't no brother need to come get me. What should we do? What do you mean what to do? Stop them. That's right. Pull your drawers up and get out of here. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Get him out of here. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. They continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. What else? And fellowship. What? And fellowship. Now, if you fellowship with men that have changed the faith. That's right. And you believe it's all right? That's right. After the Bible says, have no fellowship. No fellowship. That's doctrine. That's doctrine. If there come any unto you, if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, what shall we do? Receive him not into your house. Let him preach that night. Receive him not into your house. Give him a time to preach. Receive him not into your house. And you know that man, and you know it's different if you don't know that man believes certain things, but you know it. That's right. And let him preach anyway. That's right. Receive him not into your house. Uh, this is doctrine. This is not a, a request, this is a command. If there come any unto you. Who? Any. I don't care if it's your blood brother, your daddy, your cousin, your false church friend. <laughs> That's right. Any. Your professor of theology. Amen. I don't care, the Bible is talking. If the there, faith of Jesus Christ is talking. That's right. If there come any unto you. And this is what these men have. They have conventions or revivals. One man get up, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost believer. Don't let the church and don't let the pastor have an anniversary. He say he don't believe this, he don't believe that, he don't believe that the other. But they will invite any preacher. Any preacher. That got a congregation, yeah. if he can get money that whole week. That's right. This one time he'll take his belief and put it under the rug. That's right. And then out of hypocrisy, 
thanks me and Bishop Lucifer, <laughs> we, had, we have our differences. He believes in women preachers. He knows that I don't, but he knows my stand. Mm. And even though I invite him in here, uh, some of you may not understand what I'm doing, but it's an act of love. It's an act of treason. That's right. Because the faith says, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, what, what to do? Receive him not into your house. No. Neither bid him Godspeed. Why? For he that biddeth him Godspeed. What is it? Is partaker of his evil deeds. You're just as equal to the one that believe in it. That's right. They continue steadfastly Glory to God. in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship. And what? And in breaking of... The only thing I want the fellowship with them fellowship. that truly believe what the word of God said right. and everything. That's right. In everything. Hmm? That's right. Many men come from different parts of the world to Philadelphia to come sit and meet with me and talk and bring me their belief. And I listen. One man told me, I see, the Lord told me that you should change your belief. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what should I change my belief to? He said, the Lord told me you should stop baptizing in mm. the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I said, then what should I do? He said, you should be baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. My Lord. That was years ago on Frankfurt Avenue. You know, I, I come from a very comical family. And when I get nuts like that, especially when they get in the spirit. That's right. I'm sitting in one chair, he's sitting right there. He said, Pastor Jennings, the Lord told me that you should, you got to stop baptizing. You should stop it in the name of Jesus Christ and baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said, that's the revelation. Mm. I said, really? <laughs> then he went into some tongue. <laughs> should stop doing it. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jesus Christ is the Lord and they done what Jesus said do. So why did the Lord, I asked him, why did the Lord single me out and said I should stop doing it? You know what made it so bad? My Lord, my he Lord. was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He said he got the revelation later and went back in water to wash the name off. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. That's right. <laughs> Remember what Jesus and the Apostle Paul declared? Back in St. John chapter 8, verses 30 and 31. Everybody all right? As he spake these words, many believed on him. And what? 
Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, uh, If ye continue in my word. Hear me this, hear this. If ye continue. If you continue in his teaching. Then. Only then. Are, then that's it. Then are you my, my disciples. Then he recognized indeed. you as a true follower. And in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23. Read all of that in John. Don't just cut off that. And ye, back in St. John chapter 8, we're at verse 32. Yes. And ye shall know the truth. You got to get all of that. Amen. There's a reason why you disciple indeed. Yeah. Then he made a promise if you continue. And ye shall know the truth. And how beneficial would the truth be? And the truth shall make you free. That's it. That's it. We're hallelujah. We're free tonight. Hallelujah. Free. Free. Glory to God. Glory to God. I am determined to stick to the word of God. Say, God knows I am. I am not moving left or right for nobody and nothing. That's right. If one go out, God is sending 1,000 to replace that one. That's right. Five go out, 500 to come and place all five of them. Amen. If 70 go out, 700 will come in. Oh, yeah. Just give me about a good two months. Oh, yes. It's amazing what God Almighty is doing. Amen. Amen. He is a great God. Amen. What did he say? Then said Jesus to those Jews which, quick. which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. All right, viewer, ask yourself, are you a disciple indeed? Indeed. Or did your bishop switch up now and ordain his wife? That's right. To be bishop, to be pastor, to be assistant pastor. Do she got a chair in the pulpit with him? Mm. You're not in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. No. Now, Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church. You're not in the church. Don't believe in speaking in tongues, you're not in the church. You got a homosexual for a bishop, you certainly, certainly not in the church. Amen. Certainly not. Get this. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And what? And ye shall know the truth. You shall know it. And the truth shall make you free. Acts of the Apostles, 242. Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. What is it? And they continue steadfastly. Remember, look at that one word. And all the scriptures continue. Continued. If ye continue in my word, now they continue steadfast, steadfast in the apostles' doctrine doing what? and fellowship, fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. You ain't got no business with fellowship and with no preacher that don't believe what the word of God said. That's I don't right. care if it's your cousin or your twin brother. That's right. That's right. I don't care how long y'all been friends. The Lord ain't made no exception because you friends. Who are you? No. Who are you? Who cares about your friendship? Well, we friends. Tell Jesus. <laughs> That's right. He laid law. That's right. Got to be old baby. That's it. They continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine. And fellowship. You don't believe in washing feet? Get away from here. Mm -hmm. Fellowshipping with you. That's right. You ain't preaching here. I'll preach for you, but you ain't preaching here. That's right. No, no. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> That's right. You don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? I preach for you, but we won't give you no offering. No. Go on and say, oh, now, Pastor Jennings, that's extreme. You call it what you want. The Bible says, forbid us to strengthen the hands of, evil of the evil door. Evil doers. You go preach for a church and you know they don't believe all what the Bible said. Go preach, brethren. But don't put a dime in the offering. And those that go, tell them the same thing. Don't give them that's a right. dime. That's right. That's right. Pastor Jim, they may look at me funny. Who cares? Who cares? I'd rather they look at me than the flames of hell. Oh, yes. That's the problem with you, worrying about how folk look at you. Yeah. Folk gonna look at you anyway. They gonna look at you when you die. <laughs> That's right. Might as well look at me while I'm living. That's right. What else? And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. Yes. And fellowship. Fellowship. And in breaking of bread and in prayers. And in prayer. And fear came upon came every soul. Upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done, done by the apostles. By the apostles. And all that believed. All that what? All that believed. Yes, faith again. 
All that all believed all that had that same faith were together and what? And had all things common. I believe that. I believe that. I ain't moving from it either, brother. That's right. <laughs> no, sir. That's right. All right, finish up in Colossians. Back now in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23. That's if what? if ye continue in the continue faith. Continue again. If ye continue in he the faith. He just said if you continue in my word. The apostle said they continue stood fast in the apostle's doctrine. Okay. The apostle Paul goes to the church in Colossians and send a letter. And the word of God says what? If ye continue in the faith. Look at the letter that is being written here for us. That's right. That's right. One faith. That's plain. The faith. The faith. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. That same faith that Jews said was once delivered unto the saints. The saints. That's right. If you do what? If you continue in the faith. We're going to keep it up. Grounded and settled. We're not just going to have this faith. We got to get settled in it. Settled. Amen. Where That's to right. throw you in jail for standing for the word. That's You'll right. go. That's right. Amen. You'll go on in there with your brother. That's true. If your brother standing for the word of God and they throw him in jail, they'll say, oh, man, if I was him, not stupid. He ain't had to do all that. He could avoid prison. All he had to do was compromise. You're yeah. a coward. That's right. You're a coward. That's a coward. You have to thank God for that brother or sister, whoever they are, standing for the word of God. That's right. That's right. War break out. If they put out a draft, children that is in the faith and striving to live by the faith, we won't obey that draft. No. We ain't obeying that draft. You can forget it. No way. When the war broke out in the 60s, Vietnam, man, they were drafting them way past age. Yeah. Sending them over there dying. Many of the old timers in the 1940s that was in the faith of Jesus Christ went to jail because they refused to go to war. Uncle Sam wants you to go over there and die for him. Tell Uncle Sam to get his own nieces and nephews and go die himself. That's right. In fact, tell Sam to go. Tell old Uncle Sam go his own self and take his wife with him. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam need you. Tell Sam to repent and be baptized and tell Uncle Sam to tarry for the Holy Ghost. Or oh, Uncle Sam is going to hell with his aunt too. <laughs> Hear this? If ye continue in the faith. This is the faith, brothers and sisters. That's right. That's right. Our faith is holy. Holy. Amen. The one Lord is Jesus Christ. That's right. The one faith is holiness. Holiness. You got to be built up on your most holy faith. Holy faith. That's our one faith. But ye beloved. Yeah. In the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 20. But what? But ye beloved, building up yourselves. No need to go talk to me about divorce, remarriage, more than one God. Justifying all that garbage anytime you was against it and you turn, you're not the church. Not the church. Of the Lord Jesus Christ, you because you didn't continue. Continue. And the teachings of the apostles. That's right. You don't believe in apostles now, you're not in the church. You don't believe in prophets now, your faith didn't continue in the Bible. That's right. And if your faith don't continue in the Bible, you're not in the church. I'm in the you can't continue to stand fast in the apostles' doctrine and you don't believe the doctrine. That's right. Don't go try to overanalyze it from an educational perspective. You fool, come that's, back to the Bible. That's right. Either you in the church or you're not. you're not. Either you believe the faith or you don't. Hallelujah. I remember, it made me think of when he read the scripture about providing for your own, your worst in the infidel. I remember I was in one of our locations and I was meeting with a family, and a fellow wouldn't take care of his family no more than a skunk smell good. <laughs> and I showed them this scripture. He told me, I got to pray about that. My I Lord. said, you got to do what? I said, 
I said you ain't had to pray to make children, did you? My oh, Lord. Like Abraham said last convention, Pastor Jennings preach against bums. That's right. <laughs> hey, man, That's you right. want to be a bum, God don't look at you as being one of his. No. No need to quote the Bible. Just get ready to lean over and fall in hell. <laughs> because you denied the denied faith. Denied the faith. And it's worse, worse than an infidel. Worse. All right, pole dancers, rump shakers, make it rain, make us. Go ahead, man. Give up Go ahead. cigarette suckers and joint smokers, beer guzzlers and wine toasters, mm. prostitutes and pimps and preachers and deacons and hypocrite and church goers are just playing with religion. Hallelujah. Get ready to do what God says. Acts 2, 38 says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's what God wants you to do. That's right. You let God down, Bishop. Bishop, Mr. Apostle, Elder, Pastor, Evangelist, you let God down. You went back on the faith. That's right. In fact, you denied the faith. Denied the faith. To befriend bishops. You deny the faith to keep your friends with some old raggly preacher. You hear what I'm telling you? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. What? In the name of Jesus Christ. God wants you to get your soul right with him. Right. Do you know that this is a thinking message? Oh, yeah. Get your soul right with him. That's it. Who? You. You let them bow your head and raise your hands and thought you safe.